Hi guys, today we're looking at fretboard maintenance with James Collins, um, so let's get down to it. So we've got a rosewood boarded guitar here. I mean, I can see from here that it's, it's looking pretty grubby, I have to say. Yeah, this one's pretty filthy, actually. Um, <laughs> it gets used quite a lot, I've yeah. heard. So um, yeah. it's, this is prime for fret cleaning and sure. maintenance, basically. Okay, and, and why, why would you clean it, other than the fact that it's obviously nice to have clean things. <laughs> well, it's going to feel a lot better to play on. Okay. okay? Um, the dirt on there will build up as it has done. And yeah. You might be able to see it a little it bit closer as the strings are off. So I would recommend if you can, you know, try to do this every time you change strings, then you won't sure. have to do it quite sure. as much sure. as we will on this one. Okay? Absolutely. Okay. And, and if you could just quickly talk us, so you've got a lovely little sort yep. of windery thing there. What's This is just a string winder. Okay. And um, if you haven't got one, I'd certainly recommend you get one because Great. It's a little bit quicker to take the strings off, but it comes into its own when you're stringing up too. Sure, okay. absolutely. A, a good tool for any, any guitarist to, to own there. Um, and then once you've got them all, you're just sort of nipping them with yep, some, just sort of some wire cutters there. Some string cutters. Fantastic. And we're going to take the strings off the guitar. Okay, out the back. Lovely. I cut them so we can take them out of the bridge a little bit easier. Okay. Even with the, you know, with the trim style bridges or even the tail pieces. Okay? Sure. So it makes life a little bit With a, a Strat style guitar like this, so now we've got all the strings off, you can clearly see the, uh, the saddles there on the bridge. Um, and then we're taking them out from the back, so if you could just hold that. Yep. So we can see here that they've just sort of come out of the uh, out string of the holes in the back there. of the block. Fantastic. Um, one thing I'm going to do on this, because we're using 4-0 wire wool on this, okay. because it's quite fine. Okay? Yep. Three zero, which is quite easy to get hold of, yep. um, isn't necessarily the greatest one to use. 4-0 being that bit finer, okay. we'll just lift this dirt off very gently. Okay. okay. And it doesn't damage the wood at all? It doesn't damage the wood. Okay. You want to go follow the grain, so we're going to go from the nut to the, uh, sure. to the body. Okay. Okay. Um, so a little bit of masking tape over the pickup will stop any wire wool just attaching itself to the magnets. To sure. The there, okay? okay, fair enough, yep. Very nice, very nice. The other advantage with the 4-0 wire wool mm -hmm. is that it will very lightly polish the frets, okay? Okay. If you have a look at this sort of first fret, it's quite tarnished, right? Um, the wire wool will start to clean that up. Sure. And also like at the very top, a very dusty end up here. Yeah, don't don't no. go up here very often. No, I mean maybe up here. Yeah. But <laughs> this will clean up too with okay. the wire wool. Sure. Um, once we've done the wire wool, okay, and cleaned all this uh, the fretboard. That's yep. the purpose of the wire wool, clean the fretboard. Yeah. Ideally, we're going to then fret polish. Okay. 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 And 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 what's the advantage to to polishing the frets? Well, definitely the playability of the guitar afterwards. Okay. Okay. It'll just feel Absolutely lovely. The fretboard's going to feel great. It's going to yeah. feel clean. Okay, yeah. um, but also the frets uh, themselves, the strings on the frets are just going to feel very smooth, very easy to bend. So sure. when you take the time to set up and maintain the guitar, mm -hmm. everything feels great underneath your fingers. Nice, nice. So um, I, I, I'm probably getting Dan in a bit of trouble here, but this is this is Dan's guitar. So Dan's going to be very happy with this once it's all shiny. It's going to feel like Absolutely. a new guitar. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Um, so. This is 4-0 wire wool. Okay, let's get a lovely little okay. close-up of that. And you can that. see this is very fine, okay? Okay, this yes. This is furniture polishes wire wool, right? Yep. Um, you, people use it to uh, sand down, f you know, necks, things like that. Sure. Okay, or to rub down okay. high gloss finishes sometimes. And I guess you get that from a kind of any old hardware store? Any Most hardware stores will stock it. But yeah. 4-0 can be, 4 zero wire wool can be harder to find. Okay, fair um, enough. So it's it, more furniture polishers and furniture makers will have sure. it. I see. Okay. And what's, what's this? This is wood oil soap. Okay. okay. Um, the wood oil soap will clean the fretboard and lift all that dirt off. Right, okay. 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 Um, the dirt is also, and that grime, particularly around the 9th, 10th, 11th fret. Yeah. Okay, is keeping that, that fretboard fairly moist as well, okay? All, okay. all of those nutrients from sure. all that dirt. Absolutely, okay? yeah. So when yeah. we lift that off, it may be necessary to put a little bit of lemon oil on it, okay. which will make that fretboard look really nice and moist again rather than dry, because Great. we're going to take all of those, the good bit parts out of it. 
Yeah, but if you feel that too, you can actually feel. Do I want to? Or? Not really, probably. <laughs> but oh god, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's now, great. when you're bending there, you sure. may not notice it, but yeah. it's 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 there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, so with a small amount of wire wall, we can probably half that. Yeah. Okay. We may have to do this twice because it is so dirty. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. And just a small amount of the, of the uh, wood oil soap. Okay. Sure. And we're going to go up and down the fretboard. And as I thought, I would probably go over this twice, okay? Okay. This would usually be enough for, um, you know, if you were regula regularly maintaining your guitar, mm -hmm. okay? You see, it's just lifting that dirt, okay? Yeah. But I'll do it again. It's almost it's like Dan has been neglecting this guitar on purpose just just for the purposes That's of this cleanup, is exactly it? right. That's what he'll tell us anyway. Okay. Now you want to go up and down the fretboard like I'm doing. Okay. Rather than across. Okay. If you go across, you, you know, across the grain, you, you you may sort of scratch it or mark it. Okay? Sure. You shouldn't with a four zero wire wall, but anything um, harder, you're going to. Okay, and it's better to be to be safe than sorry. So. With this particular one, this is a, this is a rosewood board, as, as you can see. I mean, um, yep. for those that don't know, the maple is the colour of the headstock. Uh, yep, because this is, is a maple neck maple with neck a rosewood neck. board on. Sure. Um, unfinished board. Unfinished board. Okay. So this, is, this would be true of uh, other fingerboard woods, like such as ebony. Ebony, yep, cocobolo, ziracote. Okay. Wow, you've truly raised me on, on the woods there. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, Two key ones are rosewood and ebony. Sure. Okay. Rosewood, yeah, I see. Yeah. Of the unfinished boards. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. I rosewood are slightly more open grained. And okay. A lighter brown. Okay. Okay. Ebony would appear black, but um, you know, there's there's often sort of grain in it too. Okay. okay. So if you have a quick look now and feel that, right? That That's, feels yeah, so much yeah. better. Absolutely. There isn't those ridges from all of that grime on the uh, fretboard. Indeed, I'm just going to get a nice close up there. So you can see in the light there that there's slight sort of imperfections with the, with the grain in the wood there, but sure. there's no there's no sort of finger dirt. It's no. looking lovely, and, and immediately the frets are really sort of popping out. And you can see, you know, on this guitar that it's it's used, okay, and sure. has been used for you know a few years, right? There's yeah. some some minor indents on the frets, yeah, and also some you can feel where where it's played on the fretboard. The sure. rosewood will wear. Okay. okay, a little bit, but it's not a worry. Okay, um, ebony will wear even though it's a bit harder. Okay, okay. so it takes longer to. Yeah. Okay. It fair would enough. take bit, a little bit longer. Sure, I see. Uh, regularly maintaining it isn't necessarily going to sort of reduce that wear. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just that we've taken. You can see where the where the grime was. Yeah. You know, you're you're rubbing off the dirt around. Sure. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can also often see patterns where yeah, people yeah. have played. <laughs> but people like that kind of thing. I mean, you know, people spend hundreds of pounds on getting instruments that have been artificially relicked. And, sure. uh, you know, I'm sure people wouldn't sure. mind that kind of thing. Um, yeah, they tend to relic the uh, maple boards a little more because it's a bit more obvious. A bit more obvious, absolutely. Okay. So with um, the maple boards, they're, you treat those differently because they're, they're finished as opposed to... Yeah. Um, we will look at the maple boards. Sure. Um, and you'd just use a... F a f pump polish to clean that. Fair enough. Okay. So Even so when the dirt's sort of built up like that, yeah, yeah. you should be able to squirt some pump polish, give sure. some pump polish, Dunlop 65. So we should stress really that, that you don't want to be using wire wool on a finished fretboard. No. Okay, fair enough. So this is just for rosewood and ebony boards. And yeah. quite conveniently, rosewood and ebony are both very dark. Ebony in particular, as, as the name suggests. So you should have no trouble discerning the difference between a maple and a rosewood board. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, great. Um, looking at that fretboard now as it's dried, mm -hmm. okay, um, it looks actually really nice. Yes. It probably doesn't need a great deal of lemon oil on there. Right? Okay. Um, and the oil to, soap, sorry to interrupt, the oil soap, um, so that's kind of, what is that? Is cleaner, it, is it? really. Right, okay. It's to clean enough. it. Okay. And to lift that dirt off with, yeah. with the wire wool on this type of board. Um, the lemon oil wool will just make it look a little um, wetter. Okay. Okay. And some people quite like the feel of lemon oil. Okay. I f find a it a slight, little greasy. There's a, a slight stickiness to it. Yeah, and if there. that transfers onto your strings, it can just feel a little bit, yeah. um, you know, sticky or, or 
you know, wet for a while. Sure, absolutely. But, but be aware that if you've got a really bad fretboard with a load of grime all over yeah. it, has, you know, it's come out of, you know, from years of gigging. As soon as you take that off, you'll start to see it sort of go grey. It will go okay. dry. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. So that lem- lemon oil now would, you know, would, would stop that and make it look rather good. Okay, fair enough. So it's, so it's kind of like, I guess, I guess the... The oil soap is your sort of your shampoo, I guess, and, yeah. and you, the lemon oil is the conditioner that you'd put on afterwards. Basically, yeah. Um, I think, you know, from the courses we've done, lemon oil seems to be the, the go to thing. Okay. Okay, um, for a lot of people, but use it very sparingly. Okay, okay. fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there is, you know, debate that it will get underneath frets and in and other places okay, okay. and, 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 and even lemon oil sometimes is used on on the finish right you know and that's you know you have to be fairly cautious with that fair right? enough okay. whereas wood oil soap not a problem okay. the only protection we had was on this was on the pickup pickup okay perfect so now we're ready to start fret polishing okay cool so that's our fretboard nice and clean next time we're going to look at fret polishing mm-hmm.